Alright guys, what's going on? We're here with the next installment, my second video here where we're going to give you some tutorials or some tips all associated with streaming and we're going to keep in the vein that we had in our previous video. The previous video was how to set up Streamlabs OBS with Restream.io. Guys, if you haven't seen that video, it's going to be very important that you saw it for this video. So go back, check it out. It is linked in the iCard above. I'll also have it down in the description as well. But uh, I'm going to be making reference to that and I am going to be assuming that you saw that video. You have your Restream.io account up and running and then you also have your Streamlab OBS up and running as well. So when you do have those things up and running, what you're going to want to do during your uh, streams is you're going to want to keep tab on your alerts. You're going to want to keep tab on your alerts, uh, donations, followers, subscribers, all that good stuff. For this video, I'm going to be using Twitch and YouTube as my examples for the two platforms I will be streaming to. And uh, so with that, you're going to want to know if someone subscribes to you on YouTube, if someone follows you over on Twitch, if a donation is sent to you, if you get a super, ta uh, super chat over on YouTube. And um, it's, you know, you're going to want to know all that. You're going to want to see it pop up. And it's going to be very or very helpful for you to know exactly when it happens during your stream. That way you guys can interact. Now Streamlabs OBS does a great job of setting up or, or making it very simple to set up alerts. The problem is, since you, or right now, when you sign into Streamlabs OBS, you can either only sign in through YouTube or through Twitch. It's not an actually a, a joint account. So if you were to go into Streamlabs OBS, let me let me uh, pull that over here onto the uh, window here, so you can you can see my uh, Streamlabs OBS account is right here. I am logged in with Twitch. So uh, if I go right here, if I go to add a source, which is going to be a, um, uh, what is it right over here? You got your little widgets. You're going to say alert box. So if you go to alert box, you're going to pick that and it tells you right here, you can get donations, subscriptions, follows, bits, and hosts. Now that's only going to work for Twitch. Now, if you're multi-streaming or you're dual streaming, again, for this example to YouTube, uh, anything that happens on YouTube, you're not going to be able to add that information through Streamlabs OBS. So what are we going to do? How do we get around that? Uh, if you want to, if you want to re, if you want to use Restream and you want to, uh, if you want to go to multiple platforms at once, well, Streamlabs uh, has a website, which I'm sure you all know, and that works quite well. So we're going to set that up. I'm going to show you how to do this, how to do everything I just explained, but to have the ability to see alerts for both Twitch and YouTube. So you're going to log in, you're going to get started, you're going to log in uh, with whatever you want to go. You know, you've got Picardo, Periscope, Facebook, Mixer, YouTube, Twitch. I'm going to log in to my YouTube account. Now, I also have logged in with Twitch and um, we're going to talk about that in a second. So you get to the main page here, you got this, uh, your main page. Depending on what you log in with, um, it may look slightly different. I'm logged in with YouTube, so you have all YouTube information up here. And uh, there you go. So now what do you do when you want to get the Twitch thing going on? So you have this opportunity to go to account settings. Drop down to account settings, check it out, and you can merge different accounts to one Streamlab instance, essentially. So I'm going to explain that a little bit. So right now you can see I have Twitch linked and I have YouTube linked. So that means this instance of Streamlabs, if I go back to my dashboard, although all the information right now is just for YouTube, and if you actually look on the top here, you can see the little YouTube icon next to your uh, language and your notifications. But if you scroll down, if you scroll down to recent events, you can see I've got followers, I've got super chats, I've got subscribers, I've got information that has happened on both um, Twitch and YouTube. And there you go. That's ultimately what you're trying to get into your stream. You want to know what's going on on both platforms at the same time. So you've merged both accounts. That's great. Now, how do you set up the alerts? You know, how do you get that little pop up that says so and so has followed or so and so sent you a donation? It's actually not that hard. So again, guys, you got to remember right now I'm logged in to YouTube on Streamlabs. So if you go down to alert box under widgets, that's where you're going to be able to set up your notifications. So you've got donations, You've got subscribers, you've got sponsors, and super chats. Now, this is all stuff that is 100% specific to YouTube. 
Um, donations is a little tricky, we're going to talk about that in a minute. But subscribers, sponsors, super chats, those are 100% anything that's going to happen on YouTube. So what you do is you go in, you set up your you set up your alerts, whatever you want it to be. I'm not going to go through how to do that. There are plenty of videos out there how to set up your alerts. I'm not going to go into that. Uh, I don't want to waste your guys' time. Uh, so what I do and what I like to do is I actually separate my alerts on my screen, on my uh, Twitch or on my uh, on my stream. So I have YouTube alerts on the left side. I have Twitch alerts on the right side. And then in the middle, I have donations. So how do you do that? Uh, if you go right up here, you can see this is where you're going to actually copy your URL. And that's going to be the information you're going to need to take into Streamlabs OBS. But I don't want all this information. I don't want, I don't want donations. I don't want subscribers. I don't want sponsors and super chat. Uh, donations, like I said, I put those in the center of the screen. Uh, and sponsors, I don't have sponsorship turned on on my channel right now. So I don't want to include that as an option. So what you do is you just uncheck the box. So what I did was I unchecked sponsors, I unchecked donations. Then what you do is you click to show your widget URL and it's going to give you a, it's going to give you a URL and you're going to copy that. So what you're going to do, I'm going to bring Streamlabs OBS back over here and uh, we're going to do this. It's going to be a little simple. Um, you go to sources gonna go slow here so you guys can follow along you're gonna go to sources you're gonna go with browser source you're gonna go to browser source you're gonna select that and then you're gonna click add source so uh, for this example we'll just say uh, we'll just say test and you're gonna say add new source so what do you do is right here in the UR, uh, in the URL location you just put that URL that you copied from the Streamlabs website and what that's going to do is it's going to create a little box that gives you your subscriptions and your super chats. That's exactly how we set it up over on the Streamlabs page. So you're then going to click done. Uh, for this I didn't copy one over so we're just going to use the window that's ultimately here. You can then move it around. Uh, what you guys are going to see is going to be a blank window. It's not going to look like this because it's um, it's a blank window and until you get an alert nothing's gonna pop in it so you're set you've got your subscriptions and you've got your super chats they're gonna pop up over here now what do you want to do or how do you do the uh, twitch side of things so I'm gonna move Streamlabs OBS off the screen here we're gonna go back into the Streamlabs website which I have up at the moment uh, let me get this let me get this uh, thing off and out of the way so we're gonna hide that Okay, so we're back right where we left off. Now, if you've already merged your accounts, remember where I told you you had that little YouTube icon up here? You're gonna click that, then you go down and you click Twitch. And what that's gonna do is it's going to magically bring you over to the exact same type of page, but with alerts specific for Twitch. So you've got follows, subscriptions, donations, host bits, and raids. So again, set it up the way you want to do, just like we did over on YouTube. For my situation, I do not have subscriptions. I do not have hosts, bits, raids, or redemptions. All I have are followers. Um, so everything else is unchecked. Copy the URL. Do exactly like we just did before over on the Streamlabs OBS by adding the new browser source. Put this window over on the right side. And then uh, there you go. You've got your YouTube alerts on your left for subscriptions and super chats. For the right, you've got your Twitch followers. And now donations. So donations are common between both Twitch and YouTube. Uh, if you have a donation link through PayPal or if you have a donation link through um, Streamlabs, uh, whether someone donates to you on Twitch or donates to you on YouTube, it's looked at as the same thing. So that's why I do a separate URL just for donations. Now again, I'm here on the uh, Twitch side of things. You can do this either on your Twitch page or on your YouTube page in Streamlabs. It doesn't matter because they will actually end up being exactly the same. So you're going to do the exact same thing one more time. You're going to uncheck follows, un uncheck subscriptions, uncheck host bits, raids, and redemptions. Only have donations up. Copy the URL paste it over in Streamlabs OBS, and then you're ready to go. You can put that window wherever you want. I Like I said, I put it in the middle, uh, in the middle window. So there you go, guys. 
Now I'm going to give you a quick little demonstration here of how this is going to work. So what you want to do to test it is uh, you have these buttons right here. You have test follow, test subscription, test donation, blah, blah, blah. So if you click test follow, um, it will pop up with a test follow. So let me get over to a actual scene I have. I'm just going to talk it through it right here. This is my standard overlay and uh, we're going to get into these other scrolling texts in a minute. But as far as the notifications, here we go. I am now clicking the test follow on the Streamlabs page. And there you go, Mischief Gaming is the newest Twitch follower. So that's how you can check to make sure it's working. Now I'm gonna click the test donation tab and boom, right in the center, John donated $4. Now, if you wanna test the YouTube, you're gonna have to do exactly like what we did before, go up to the top and uh, switch from Twitch over to YouTube. But you guys, you, know, you don't need to know that. Okay, so next thing, you guys can see you've got the, uh, what I have on my overlay is I have the most recent Twitch follower, the most recent YouTube subscriber, the most recent super chat I received on YouTube, and then the most recent donation. I'm going to do this one fairly quickly. I don't want to take too much time uh, because this is where you guys got to get creative and do things the way you want to do it. So I'm going to switch back to my monitor here. We're going to get back into, uh, back into Streamlabs. So we've got Streamlabs right here. What you're going to want to do to get that information is uh, you have to go down and you have to download stream labels. So you're going to click the stream labels. Uh, depending on what operating system you want to use, you're going to download it. I already have it downloaded on my computer, so I'm not going to do that right now. But once you download it, you're going to need to open it up. So let me move this over and we've got Streamlabs OBS open right here. So stream labels is going to open up like this. Doesn't matter which one you connect to, as long as you connect with one of the accounts you're already using, I will connect with YouTube. Okay, so once you are logged in, it's gonna say, welcome to Streamlabs. Before we get started, please pick where you would like to your text files to be created. So you're gonna choose an output directory on your computer. It's very important to remember where you select this, and uh, it's going to be somewhere that you need to get to easily. So put it in a folder, put it somewhere simple, somewhere, somewhere easy to find. Uh, and then you're gonna be all set. You're gonna see that same screen that we saw on the website here as the most recent activity. So this is going to be very important. We're gonna minimize the screen for right now, and then we're going to come back to it in a little bit. So we're gonna minimize that. You're just gonna go to add a source. You're gonna go to text GDI, GDI plus. You're gonna go to add source. And now, so as you can see, I already have a whole bunch of these things but you guys are gonna have nothing. So I'm gonna put this in as test text. We're gonna do add new source. And it's gonna take a second. And here we go. Okay, so what you wanna do is you're gonna have this screen right in front of you. You're gonna go read from file. And then now is when you have to locate where you put all your stream information. So you're gonna go to your Streamlabs area, wherever you just imported that whole thing too. And as you can see, you have all of these options. You have all of these options to put down. So uh, let's see, let's, let's put something down uh, on mine here. We'll do most recent subscriber, most recent. Okay, so you gotta be careful because this is a mixture of Twitch and YouTube. So it's a good thing I actually picked that. So you have most recent subscriber and then you have most recent YouTube subscriber. So the most recent subscriber is going to be if you're on Twitch and you have a subscriber. If you're on YouTube, uh, you're going to want to pick this one. So I'm going to pick this one right here. You can just click open and there you go. Uh, you can do whatever you want. You can do some scrolling. You can change the size and all that. But here you go, guys. Most recent subscriber that will now that will now uh, update every time I get a new subscriber. But as you can see, check inside there. There are lots of options. There are plenty to uh, choose from and you can get very creative of what you want to show uh, in your overlays and all that kind of stuff. So guys, I know I kind of rambled on, might have been a little confusing in there a little bit, but all the information is there on how to get your alerts up there, how to show recent subscribers, recent donators, all that good stuff. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know by putting it in the comments down below. Um, if there's something else you want to see me cover, make sure you let me know that as well also. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope it was helpful. If it was, make sure you give me that like. It's going to uh, 
show me that I should keep this series going on the channel. I think I'm going to be doing this about every two weeks, put a new video out. I know this has been a pretty lengthy one there. I'm going to try to keep them as short as possible, but had a lot of information to cover in this one. But guys, that's it for this one. Again, please, if something was unclear, if you have any questions, put that down below and I will get back to you as quickly as possible. If it's a real good question, I might even make a brand new video on it if it's a larger topic. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.